Hello and welcome to this short video on the new and improved calculated metrics. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create an event or metric uh, without implementation. And you'll do this using the new segmented calculated metric feature. So let me show you how you can do that. But maybe before I do that I'll set up the scenario. So you've already instrumented your site, you've collected a lot of data, and you're starting to get a lot of questions around search on your site, internal search and you did not set an event um, each time somebody searched and so you really have no indicator of how much volume you're getting uh, in terms of search. So you want to create that event and you can do that using a segmented calculated metric. So let me show you how you can do that. So we're going to add a metric to this key metrics report. And so the first thing I did, actually, I cheated a little bit. I, I went and created a segment beforehand. And so this is just a simple segment where I'm looking for the page that equals search results. And so uh, that's going to be the basis of our, of our metric here. So let me drag that down to the definition window here. And I'm going to create searches. So this will be searches. And this will, this metric counts. searches performed on our website. Okay, decimals fine, decimal places good is fine. Uh, we might want to classify this as search related as a tag and now we need to add our metric. And so I'm going to go back to the metrics uh, selector here and we'll go with page views. And page views will really give me an indicator of how many times or instances there are of search. If I wanted to go with a slightly different view, I might say, well, I'm not really worried about the number of times a search occurred, but the sessions in which a search occurred. And so in that case, you know, I might want to serialize it um, by just using visits as the metric. And so if I did that, let me just show you, take my page views, drag down visits, you'll see the number um, go down quite a bit because this is actually unique searches. So. Um, how many sessions involved a search. But let's stick to what I originally talked about with the page views. And so we'll add that back in. And we'll save this. Now the interesting thing that this has an advantage over its standard deployment implementation centric um, metric in the sense that if I deployed the metric today to start tracking search, that would be rolling forward. And in this case, and let me just clean up this uh, this report here a little bit, get rid of some of these other metrics here. Uh, so now, um, if you look at this, I'm deploying this and, and it's basically rolling back. In fact, I can take this back, let's say, let's go three months. Um, and I can basically see this metric uh, through our, our historical data because it's based on a segment. So this is a really powerful feature. Um, you know, look at it as a, as a weapon or, or a tool within your toolkit for deploying new metrics. And, and I think you'll find a lot of value in, in this approach. Thank you.